Hello guys and welcome to Super Nerds Gaming. I'm Simon and on this episode we're going to be talking about the Sega Mega Drive and my personal history with it. And what better time to talk about the Sega Mega Drive now that it's just turned 30. Oh, doesn't that make you feel a bit old? But to do this we need to go back to Christmas 1991. Christmas 1991, I was only seven. And that Christmas would be like many other Christmases that we've had. We'd come downstairs and we'd open our presents. We had our presents on separate chairs at that point and that's just the way it was in our house. But there was one present that was in the middle of the room. I asked my parents, whose is that present? Their reply was, it's both of yours, meaning mine and my brothers. So with the delight that we got an extra present, ran over, ripped off the packaging to be greeted with a Sega logo and Sonic's face on there. And this, ladies and gentlemen, this would begin my love affair with the Mega Drive, Sega and my obsession with Sonic. We only had a small collection of Mega Drive games and it's something that only kind of built up very, very slowly. We had the Sonic that was bundled in with the Meg Drive to keep us going for a while, but then other titles would roll in for us, like EA's Jungle Strike, which my dad absolutely loved. It was one of his favorite game series and he would go on from this to play them all. Also, we got Sega's amazing beat em up, Streets of Rage, which is a staple of my gaming life now. I still go back and play it time and time again. <laughs> We also got some other titles on in previous Christmases, which was Aladdin. My brother got that. I was so jealous he got that. It was such a good game. I got, on the other hand, Sonic Spinball, which at the time I, you know, I kind of held some resentment to it, but I absolutely love Sonic Spinball now. I would play many of the other Sega titles in the collection by swapping games with me mates on the playground and also my cousin would come down and he'd lend us some titles like Street Fighter and that that we could try out but the Sega Mega Drive was my staple of gaming life way up until the Sega Saturn came out and then I finally put my great console to rest to be awoken again in the year 2014 when at this time I decided to do a YouTube channel with my friends and we did let's play videos on some of these retro games that I had from my collection. Now at this point I did only have the very very poor 80 games Sega Mega Drive which was absolutely crap. The sound chip on it was very very nasty. So I made the decision I was going to bring my Mega Drive back to life. So with a few quick purchases on eBay, I picked up a Scott lead for it and the power supply and the old girl was back in action. Now, with that being done and doing the YouTube channel, I thought it's time to extend that collection. So my first retro pickup game that I got for the system was the awesome Robocop vs Terminator. Which 
is just an amazing game and a game I go to time and time and time again these days. That was the first game that I started off when I started my Mega Drive collection up again. And I was very lucky that I had the retro store level up in Liverpool that could feed that obsession as well, where I would get great titles to add to it. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my Meg Drive collection with 121 games and counting. Because I'm still buying games now, I've not stopped. There's still games that I've never played and that I want to play. What I will say is most of these games in this collection are the games that I wanted when I was younger. When I would go through these game shops and not be able to have them. And I think that's a lot where my collection comes from is not having these games when I was younger. And kind of backtracking, getting them and appreciating them for, you know, some of the technical stuff that these games and the enjoyment, the sheer enjoyment that you get out of these games so i don't think i'll be stopping anytime soon on this collection definitely not still got a few good titles out there that i need to add to it thank you guys for watching this video and i do hope you enjoyed it let me know what your meg drive history was what was your history with the with the console put it in the comment section down below and guys again thank you for letting me get this off my chest in such a way of just how me and the meg drive basically brought me into gaming and started all this. Thank you guys, and as always, I'll catch you next time.